Randy McKee here with Soccer 605, and I'm here with Coach Paul Bennett, the T area coach in our small program Coach of the Year for 2013. We just got done watching a pretty competitive match, and you know, you called it just right uh, about the middle of the second half. You said uh, one team scores a goal, and that's going to be the end of it. Uh, yeah, you know, going into the game I, with the firepower Roosevelt had, I thought, it, you know, th there's going to be some chances, but throughout the first half there was, wasn't a whole lot, so you could just see as the game kind of got going in the second half that there's going to be one chance for either team, and whoever puts it away is going to win the match. You know, Lincoln really did a nice job of bund bundling up all that Roosevelt power. You know, they just couldn't really get hardly anything going, you know, in the, in the final third. Yeah, you know, in the previous games uh, leading into this game, Roosevelt just a uh, they had that second gear going into the attack, and tonight they just could never find that gear, and, and that was largely due to, you know, Caesar Cuellar in the back for for Lincoln just sweeping things up and just keeping things nice and tidy and keeping the game in front of him. You know, and uh, uh, Miner Enriquez did this had the same exact task on uh, you know on watching Terrence Schuster on the other end, but you know in the end Terrence did kind of create that goal for his team. Yep, yep. There's just that one chance and that ball to the back post, and, and Lincoln got those two guys in there in the end, and unfortunately they got. The guy got it, got it in back post, and uh, I can say though that the quality of the game is probably better than any high school game I've seen in, in recent years for sure. And then the crowd tonight was was really nice, nice atmosphere for a final game. Yeah, and uh, you know I think it's just going to keep getting better and better. But you know we did have good crowds from Sioux Falls here today all day long, and uh, you know the the game was really I, uh, about the middle of the second half. I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, man, this is really an attractive game. You know, both teams trying hard, creating chances, but uh, you know keepers making you know doing what they're supposed to do. So I mean, it was just very balanced. Yeah, yeah, and the game was a lot of it was in the middle of third of the field, you know. And neither team could really just get in behind the other team's defense, and uh, like I said, it just came down to that one chance towards the end of the game. And once Lincoln scored that, you could just see that was that was probably it. All over, but the slow thing. And well, you know, they started out their first day in training camp back in August uh, with a with a talk from their coach uh, that the expectation was to win state, and uh, you know they show up every year with that same expectation, and they did today what Lincoln does so often and that's take home the cup. Sure yeah I mean if you look on paper I think uh, man for man Roosevelt probably had a better team but I think a lot is said for Lincoln and their tradition and a lot of those players being in finals before they knew what it took just to to get it done in the final game and like you said at the end of the day they got it done. Yeah well you know if Roosevelt has nothing to feel bad about they did a great job and uh, you know everybody you know did what they could and uh, just wasn't their day, just like every other team that went home today in second place. But, uh, boy, just a great day of soccer from start to finish today. Yeah, I thought the the quality of the, all the games, you know, boys A, boys double A, girls, I mean, all the quality games were, were good. And like I said, the atmosphere was really good. Um, and it was just a really nice event to see. Well, um, hard to say where it's, I'm not sure where it's going to be next year, but uh, we'll be there, and I'm sure you will be. And, uh, you know, maybe next year for, you know, we're looking for sure uh, year after next that you're going to be bringing a team to this thing too. But, you know, you got uh, all those young guys you're working with and uh, impressed a lot of people this year with them with their grit and uh, how much they learned. And who knows, anything could happen at soccer, right? Yeah, yeah, I got a, long, a lot of young guys that got their feet wet this year as eighth graders and ninth graders, and I think the future's bright for, for T-Soccer, and hopefully we can get to a, a final again. I agree. Well, thanks a lot, Coach Bennett, for uh, spending a little bit of time with us and uh, sharing sharing your knowledge of the game, and uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing you soon enough and get on a soccer field somewhere. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, Randy.